Welcome back to Garza Gaming Channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to fish, why to fish, and how to make fishing more efficient so you get even better loot. So hey man, without any further ado, let's get into it. Now the first thing I wanted to highlight is the fact that not every fishing pole is created equal, right? So as you can see here, I actually have a green or an uncommon uh, fishing pole that has a stat on here called Lucky Knight number one. So what this does is it gives me a small boost to chance of catching better fish during the night time. Now there's various different fishing poles with various different uh, stats on it. So what you want to do is ensure that if you are creating a fishing pole that you create one that is at, at a minimum green and has some type of stat on it or go to the auction house and buy you a nice fishing pole now you can actually create the fishing pole at any workshop a second thing that you need to know is the fact that various different baits give different chances of catching better fish as you can see right here uh, this snail bait actually gives a medium boost to or chance of catching bigger fish in salt water, right? So keep in mind that you can be fishing either in salt water or fresh water. Whereas this uh, meat bait gives me um, a small boost to chance of catching bigger fish in fresh water. And then this electronic eel um, bait uh, gives me a large boost to chance of catching bigger fish in salt water. Uh, right here, the wood louse bait actually gives me a medium boost to the chance of catching better fish in freshwater. So the type of bait that you use is also going to be very important. Now, one of the baits that I'm going to show you how to use that it's very easy, I'm talking very easy to find, is this firefly bait that you can probably get by the hundreds in just you know a few minutes. And this actually gives you a large boost chance to catching better fish in fresh water and starting out that's pretty much going to be your bread and butter now if you needed to actually make bait which at the lower levels i don't see why you would because the first two baits that you make are actually small boosts you can actually make them in your kitchen and, and use this as a way to actually boost your cooking Okay, so my two favorite uh, fishing spots are just left of Windsward Settlement, right? Of course, the, the newbie one is right here just to the west of it, just outside of the west gate. Um, and as you work your way up in levels, if you can get up here to Prime Rose, this is actually one of my favorite spots to get some decent high level uh, fish and crates. Uh, from the schools that actually spawn there additionally there is a ton of firefly bait to be had right there so you can actually fish here for hours non-stop now for you newbies that are just starting out just west of the Windsward uh, Township you're gonna see this lake right here that has a one-star fishing right it's a fishing hot spot but as you see where I'm sitting on this map you're actually gonna see a quest giver Michael Shields he will actually give you a quest that gives you a free fishing pole to get you started uh, when you first start out on the game so look for him I mean you can't beat a free fishing pole right Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to easily get a ton of firefly bait from these bulrush bushes, right? Simply gather them up and boom, you'll start seeing those firefly baits just start adding up. Now before you go off on your fishing expedition, make sure that you visit the town project board uh, in as many towns as you'd like and try to get as many of the fishing quests as possible. Okay, so now that we know about the different types of fishing poles, the different types of bait to use, where to go fishing, and the, make sure that we get the quest before we embark on our fishing expedition, let's get to the nitty gritty. How do we fish? The actual mechanics, right? So when you get to a fishing hole, what you're going to end up doing is hitting F3 to enter fishing mode. So what that will do is it will put away your weapon and actually bring out your fishing pole. You got to make sure though that your fishing pole is equipped in the in the specific uh, part in your inventory for the fishing pole. So it's active. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on our bait by clicking the firefly and hitting equip bait. We're going to hold the left mouse button and release. Now we're going to watch our bobber like we discussed earlier and wait for it to start jiggling up and down. 
and then quickly hit the left mouse button as soon as we see that we have a fish on and hold it down. So left mouse button, hold it down as we reel it in, watching the tension meter, watching the tension meter. See how it's getting into the red, so we're going to have to release a little bit and then push back down again on the mouse button and then release a little bit and then push back down and boom, fish on. Oh, we, we got a crate. So just right out of the get go, we got a nice blue crate. All right. And then just rinse and repeat. Yeah, keep in mind that you can catch a variety of different items, not just fish, and different um, qualities of fish from green and blue. And I'm sure there's probably purple um, down the line. Uh, those crates are really awesome because once you uh, salvage them, they give you some really, really nice items. Additionally, if you catch something like an anchor or a worn out boot, uh, if you salvage those, you actually get building materials as well. And obviously, it's important that you read uh, the a description of the fishes you catch because some of the fishes that you salvage actually give you fish oil or fish fillets and those fish fillets is pretty much what you're going to use for a lot of quests. Another thing I want to highlight is as you see here on the pond you see this little white hot spot right? Right now it's just bubbling white um, but then as you can see right now uh, there's actually fish you can physically see fish jumping. As soon as you see those fish jumping, that means that that hot spot is active and you want to cast on top of that. By casting on top of that, you're going to dramatically increase your chances of catching a lot better quality fish and bigger fish and catching them a lot faster as well. As soon as you see these hot, hot spots active, you want to definitely use the best bait possible and fish here to get the best quality items. And one last side note I forgot to mention is once you apply a bait, say you had a hundred fireflies, uh, it will keep using that bait. You don't have to keep reapplying after each cast. It will continue to use that bait until you actually run out of that set bait. Whereas then you're going to have to go back and you know reapply a different type bait. So as you can see, fishing can be very lucrative depending on your catch, right? And keep in mind that those two fishing spots are just my favorite spots. There are a bunch of fishing spots that you can find while exploring or simply looking at the map. Again, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, we're also live on Twitch and Facebook Gaming under Garza Gaming Channel. And you can always visit our website, GarzaGaming.com. And if you're a Smite Arena player, don't forget we put out Smite videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm Dark Garza, your OG on the GC. See you next time.